isang matagumpay na pagpapalang muli sa inyo. Sa aking mga kamathinik, handa na ba kayo? Kunin na ang inyong mga gagamitin sa ating aralin. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Ulaso. Sama-sama tayong matuto. Again, I would like to introduce to you my partner, Mateo. Hello, Mateo. How are you? Hello, Maestro. Hi, kids. I'm Mateo, your math buddy. Just simply live and love mathematics. Yes, you are right, Mateo. The only way to learn mathematics is to live and love mathematics. So, are you ready, Mateo? What about you kids? All right, let's do math tanong. Math tanong number one. How many decimal places shall we move the decimal point to the right when multiplied by 10, 100, and 1,000? When a decimal is multiplied by 10, we are going to move the decimal point one place to the right. When it is multiplied by 100, we are going to move the decimal point two places to the right. When it is multiplied by 1000, we are going to move the decimal point three places to the right. Matanong number two. What are the major steps in using the long division method? First, divide. Second, multiply. Third, subtract. Fourth, bring down. Fifth, repeat the process until there is no remainder and no digit left on the dividend to bring down. Good job, Mateo! And to all of you who got the same answers, it means that you learned a lot from our previous lessons. Now, Knowing that you already learned a lot about problem solving and decimals, you are going to learn two lessons in this episode. Dividing whole numbers by decimals and vice versa. And dividing decimals or mixed decimals. Brace yourselves! Let's do Matalakai! In dividing a decimal by a whole number or any other decimal, you should always make the divisor a whole number by multiplying it by 10, 100, or 1000, or by simply moving the decimal point to the right. Then, do the same to the dividend. After that, you can divide them as if they are whole numbers. Then, put the decimal point of the quotient just above the decimal point of the dividend. Let's try this example. 49 divided by 7 tenths. To divide whole numbers by decimals, step 1. Multiply the divisor by 10, 100, or 1000, or simply move the decimal point to the right to make it a whole number. Since our divisor has one decimal place, Multiply the divisor by 10, moving the decimal point one place to the right. Step 2. Do the same with the dividend. Since the divisor was multiplied by 10, we will multiply our dividend by 10 too. Thus, moving the decimal point one place to the right. Add a zero to the empty decimal place. Then, place the decimal point on the quotient directly above the decimal point of the dividend. Now, we have a new division equation, 490 divided by 7. Step 3. Divide like whole numbers, following this procedure. First, divide 4 by 7. Since 4 is less than 7, the quotient is 0. Second, multiply 0 by 7, which is equal to 0. Third, subtract 0 from 4, which gives us a difference of 4. Fourth, bring down 9 and annex it to 4, making it 
49. Next, divide 49 by 7, which is equal to 7. Next, multiply 7 by 7, getting the product of 49. 49 minus 49 is equal to 0. This time, I am going to show you a technique. As you observe, we have no remainder and the last digit left on the dividend to bring down is 0. When you are in this situation, you just copy the 0 from dividend to the quotient. Since we don't have any digit on the dividend to bring down and no remainder left, we have finally arrived at our quotient which is 70. Step 4. We can check our answer by multiplying the quotient to the divisor of the original equation. Here it is. 70 times 7 tenths is equal to 49. Since the product is equal to the dividend of the original equation, then you are correct. Therefore, 49 divided by 7 tenths is equal to 70. This time, let us do it the other way around. Let us divide a decimal by a whole number with this example. 71 and 7 tenths divided by 3. Since the divisor is already a whole number, you do not need to multiply it by 10 or move its decimal point. All you must do is to place the decimal point on the quotient directly above the decimal point of the dividend. Then, Divide them like whole numbers. 7 divided by 3 is equal to 2. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Subtract 6 from 7, getting a difference of 1. Then, bring down 1, annexing it to 1, making 11. Next, divide once again. 11 divided by 3 equals 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 11 minus 9 is 2. Bring down 7 and annex it to 2 to get 27. After that, divide 27 by 3, getting a quotient of 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 minus 27 is equal to 0. Since we don't have a digit left on the dividend to bring down and there is no remainder, we have finally arrived at our quotient which is 23 and 9 tenths. Now, how can we check if the answer is correct? Right! Multiply the quotient to the divisor of the original equation. 23 and 9 tenths times 3 is equal to 71 and 7 tenths. Since it is equal to our dividend, we get the correct answer. Therefore, 71 and 7 tenths divided by 3 is equal to 23 and 9 tenths. Now, let's try dividing a decimal by another decimal with this example. 25 hundredths divided by 5 tenths. Basically, the steps are just the same as dividing whole numbers by decimals. Step 1. Multiply the divisor by 10, 100, or 1000, or simply move the decimal point to the right to make it a whole number. Since our divisor has one decimal place, multiply the divisor by 10, moving the decimal point one place to the right. Step 2. Do the same with the dividend. Since the divisor was multiplied by 10, we will multiply our dividend by 10 too. Thus, moving the decimal point one place to the right. We do not need to add 0 since there is no empty decimal place. But still, place the decimal point on the quotient directly above the decimal point of the dividend. What is our new division equation? If you answered, 2 and 5 tenths divided by 5, then you are correct. Step 3. Divide like whole numbers. Following this procedure. First, divide 2 by 5, which is equal to 0, since 2 is less than 5. Second, 
multiply 0 by 5, giving us a product of 0. Third, subtract 0 from 2, which is equal to 2. Fourth, bring down 5 and annex it to 2, making 25. Next, go back to division. 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. Next, multiply 5 by 5, which is equal to 25. Subtract 25 from 25, which is equal to 0. Since we don't have a digit left on the dividend to bring down and there is no remainder, we have finally arrived at our quotient, which is 5 tenths. Step 4. Again, to ensure that you answered correctly, we can check it by multiplying the quotient to the divisor of the original equation. 5 tenths times 5 tenths is equal to 25 hundredths. Is the product equal to the dividend of the original equation? Then our answer is right. Therefore, 25 hundredths divided by 5 tenths is equal to 5 tenths. To check if you really learn from our examples, Matteo and to all of you Kamathanik, get ready and say, Mas try nga! Find the quotient of the following decimals. Number 1, 95 divided by 5 tenths. Number 2, 7 and 2 hundredths divided by 9. Number 3, 63 and 2 hundredths divided by 2 and 3 tenths. And now, Mateo, can you show us your answer? Sure, Maestro Olaso. Here are my answers. Number 1, 95 divided by 5 tenths equals 190. Number 2, 7 and 2 hundredths divided by 9 equals 78 hundredths. Number 3, 63 and 2 hundredths divided by 2 and 3 tenths equals 27 and 4 tenths. You're so good! You got all the correct answers. Can you share to all our Kamathanik how did you get the answer? For number 1, I just made the divisor a whole number by moving the decimal point to the right. Next. I moved the decimal point of the dividend one place to the right too, but I added a zero because there is an empty decimal place. So the new equation is 950 divided by 5. Then I divided them like whole numbers with this procedure. 9 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. Then Bring down 5 annexing to 4, making 45. Then, 45 divided by 5 is equal to 9. The product of 9 and 5 is 45. 45 minus 45 is 0. Since there is no remainder and the last digit left on the dividend to bring down is 0, I can apply the technique of putting 0 in the quotient. Therefore, 95 divided by 5 tenths is 190. For number 2, since the divisor is already a whole number, I just place the decimal point on the quotient directly above the decimal point of the dividend and proceeded to dividing both numbers like whole numbers. Then, I divided 7 by 9. Since 7 is less than 9, the answer is 0. Next, I multiplied 0 by 9, which is equal to 0. After that, I did this. 7 minus 0 is equal to 7. Bring down 0 making 7, 70. 70 divided by 9 is equal to 7. Then, 7 times 9 is equal to 63. 70 minus 63 is 7. Bring down 2 making 7. 72. 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. 8 times 9 is 72. 
72 minus 72 is 0. Since there is no remainder and no digit left to bring down, the quotient is 78 hundreds. Therefore, 7 and 2 hundreds divide by 9 equals 78 hundreds. For number 3, I move the decimal point of the divisor one place to the right to make it a whole number and did the same to the dividend. Next, I place the decimal point on the quotient directly above the decimal point of the dividend. So, my new equation is 630 and 2 tenths divided by 23. Then I proceeded to dividing both numbers like whole numbers. I did this procedures. 6 divided by 23 is 0, since 6 is less than 23. 0 times 23 equals 0. 6 minus 0 is 6. Bring down 3, making 6, 63. After that, 63 divided by 23 is 2. 2 times 23 gives a product of 46. When 46 is subtracted from 63, the difference is 17. Bring down 0, making 17, 170. 170 divided by 23 gives a quotient of 7. 7 times 23 equals 161. 170 minus 161 equals 9. Bring down 2, making 9, 92. 92 divided by 23 is equal to 4. 4 times 23 equals 92. 92 minus 92 is 0. Since there is no remainder and no digit left to bring down, the quotient is 27 and 4 tenths. Therefore, 63 and 2 hundredths divided by 2 and 3 tenths equals 27 and 4 tenths. Thank you so much, Mateo. It shows that you really learned from what we discussed today. I hope you also got the solution and answer just like what Mateo did. It seems that you already understood how to divide decimals by whole numbers and by decimals or mixed decimals. Because of that, I expect that all the things you learned today would be Mahrandaan! Mateo, can you tell them again how do we divide decimals by whole numbers and by decimals or mixed decimals? Thank you, Maestro Olaso. Today, I have learned that in dividing decimals by whole numbers and by decimals or mixed decimals, you need to First, change the divisor into a whole number by multiplying it by 10, 100, 1000, or by simply moving the decimal point. Second, multiply the dividend by the same number or move the decimal point of the dividend to the right like the divisor. Place the decimal point in the quotient. Third, divide the dividend by the whole number divisor like whole numbers. Lastly, check your answer by multiplying the quotient to the divisor of the original equation. If the product is the same with the dividend of the original equation, then your answer is correct. Thank you very much, Mateo. You just proved that you really listened to our lesson carefully. Kamatinik, I hope that you are like that too. This time, for our final activity, brace yourselves, it's Matemata's time!
check now your answers. The answer for number one is letter B. Make the divisor a whole number. The answer for number two is letter B, 100. The answer for number three is letter C, 70. The answer for number four is letter B, 7. And the answer for number five is letter B, 200. All right, how many of you got a score of four or five? Great! You outdid yourself today! Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Naway kayo'y may natutuwan sa ating mga tinalakay. Muli, ako ang inyo, Maestro Olaso, na nagsasabing, ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging matinik sa mathematics.